leading nation is an informed nation. The way of life of a nation is, of course, influenced by the percentage of its citizens who are literate. Reading, whether for pleasure or for academic purpose, is an essential habit everyone should have, regardless of their age, gender, or status. And the library is a gateway for intellectual development, and it needs to be adequately equipped with information scale that will be well used by the end users. It is for this reason that the problem of poor literary patronage and development must be addressed to inculcate and promote reading habits in Nigerians. We have with us from Abuja studio, Professor Larry Olatokumbo, the Chief Executive Officer, National Library of Nigeria. A warm welcome to News Across Nigeria. Uh, uh, what do you think is a major reason for the poor reading habits in students, especially right here in Nigeria? Well, thank you very much. I think the main problem has to do with distractions. We have so many distractions that prevent, say, uh, school children from devoting a lot of time to reading outside their exam um, materials. And of course, when you read, you gain more knowledge. You are a better citizen. But uh, because of distractions, they just go urgently to read for the exams, pass and forget about reading, about any other thing. Okay, but we know libraries can help children and youth develop critical and independent thinking of course, through the exposure to the variety of resources. But right here in Nigeria, it's either the libraries are not adequately equipped or some of them are even in poor states. What can be done to ensure this is managed? Well, you are right that some of the libraries, they don't have adequate materials for students. But the materials are even adequate. We have a variety of materials. Students tend to do the exam and pass. And uh, when they graduate, they use. But what we are saying is that everybody is developing what we call the knowledge society. What goes on around him or herself. And um, I don't think lack of materials is the main reason. The main reason is that, like I earlier said, that they have other things occupying them. Uh, all right. And we understand that the National Library of Nigeria and the Reading Association of Nigeria and even the Nigerian Book Development Council have all been campaigning readership promotion in Nigeria. How strong is this awareness and has it even improved the reading culture of people? Are there any positive impacts that you've seen already? Well, I think there are still many stages. The first is even to create awareness, to let them know that the importance of reading. Because, um, like we've said, the reading culture in, in Nigeria is very bad. I mean, when you have top reading nations, Nigeria is nowhere near top reading nations. And uh, a recent table also shows that uh, only two African countries are listed when it comes to, when it comes to talking about um, reading culture in Africa. But be as it may, we are trying to say that, okay, let's first target school children to read. Then from there, we go to even pregnant mothers. That they should continue to they start reading to their babies even before they are born. When they are born, they, they, they will not, that practice will be sustained. So that right from cradle, children know that they have to read. So that is exactly what we are trying to do. And uh, in addition to that, we are even trying to see if we can establish book clubs throughout Nigeria. We want to try and pioneer it, we want to partner with NYC. We are working on that. So that uh, because NYC has the spread all over the country. So we can encourage them, we can provide the seed money for us to start book clubs. Just to create that awareness, that's the first stage. Then after that, we probably organize a series of workshops on how we can my reading. Okay, you talked about uh, mothers trying to read books to their babies, even while at womb. I know that that sometimes works, but now can that also be linked to why there is poor performance in WIAG, JAM, and all, almost all the exams here in Nigeria, we see very poor performance by students. Can it be attributed to the reading culture here in Nigeria? Of course. That, that, there's no doubt about that. Because like I said, people can, do, they don't read beyond the materials that are provided for them to read for exams. We want to provide for excellence. We want to even give you things that we expect them to know. All school children, they just read to pass the exam, and that is it. What they get 50%. They don't aim at getting more. All right, so Larry, so if we are saying the reading culture must be improved in schools, what is being done by the government to ensure that schools have efficient 
even in the libraries they have, at least they have enough books and enough resources for the students? Well, this present government is really trying because, for example, they've provided enough money for us to fund the uh, leadership uh, promotion campaign. And we are also working so hard to develop school libraries because according to Nigerian education policy, every school is supposed to have a school library. But many of the schools don't have school libraries. And even those that have school libraries, whatever they have they, they, they turn those libraries into classrooms. So we are focusing on that. The Honorable Minister of Education, Elijah Adama Adamu, is working very hard so that we will ensure that all schools have libraries. And these school libraries will be manned by trained staff. So we are even trying to look, uh, look at the universities to establish more library schools that we can train librarians who will man these schools. So the government is working towards that line. Very much, Chief Executive Officer, National Library of Nigeria, Mr. Larry Aino. Thank you so much for your time on News Across Nigeria.